here are all the deep muscles of the arm. Uh, when it comes to learning about the teres minor and major, I think it's easier to do them as a pair. So here they are highlighted. The teres minor is on top and the teres major is on bottom. Major means bigger, and you can see that the one on the bottom is bigger, and uh, the one on the top, minor, is smaller. Another major distinction between the two muscles is that the minor attaches to the back of the humerus and the major attaches to the front of the humerus. Here we can see the teres major in red attaching to the front of the humerus. And here is the teres minor attaching to the back. Looking at these from the bottom, we can see how the minor rotates the arm outward and how the major rotates the arm inward. Take a quick moment to look at the teres minor by itself. This is how I remember the name teres minor. Um, first of all, I need to say that teres means round, but I don't remember it that way. I remember it as a turning muscle. It turns the arm. So I can take the T from teres, and that helps me remember turner. And then minor means small, so it's the small turning muscle of the arm. And um, just the few things that you need to know about it is above the teres major, and it goes to the back of the humerus. So here's the origin and here's the insertion and just to reiterate um, when it's activated the distances between the, these two becomes uh, shortened so it rotates the arm backwards. And here's a representation of the teres minor in clay.